Now I've got another viewer submitted fly for you today, and this one comes to us from Jeffrey Thrash. And with a name like that, how could he call this anything but the Thrasher fly? So Jeffrey sent this one to me earlier this year, I'm talking back in February, and it's been on my corkboard to-do list since then, which I've still got about 20 flies on it. So I'm slowly chipping away at them, and you know, what better time than now to knock out another one. So this one, the Thrasher fly, it's a pretty simple beadhead nymph tied on a jig hook with a um, hair's mask for a dubbed body and a wire rib for a little bit of segmentation, but also to hold down a piece of Mirage or Opal tinsel. Now Jeffrey does put a thorax and a wing case on some of the ones he ties, but I'm not gonna do that in this one. I'm gonna just put the Mylar or the Pearl tinsel all the way from the tail up to the bead. And one other thing I'm playing around with is, well, the first couple of these I did, I tied with a natural hair's mask, dubbed the body out of that. But the one I'm about to show you, I'm using some caddis green. So just to mix things up a little bit. As this pattern is definitely one you can experiment with. Now I probably would keep the body colors to something natural, but then again, maybe not. I mean, I do tie a pattern similar to this with a purple and pink squirrel dub body. And that one's done well for me. So who knows? Anyway, I think Jeffrey came up with a pretty good one here. So there it is in the vise, Jeffrey's Thrasher Fly. Now, the first few I did, I did with a natural hair's mask. This one's an olive. And I'm mixing it up a little bit. I think this looks kind of cool. This is a size 12 barbless jig hook, standard length. And that's a, I think 2.4 millimeter tungsten bead. You will want to make sure when you put these on that you have the slot at the back, otherwise you're going to cover up your eye. Now Jeffrey didn't say if he weighted these, but I'm going to. I've got some 015 here. I'm going to put about five wraps. And if nothing else, that'll just help hold the bead in place. I'm going to use black thread. It's a 70 denier. Put a dam behind it, a few wraps over it, and I'm mangling up my thread here a little bit, but go ahead and take it to the back around the start of the bend. And for the tail, just a few fibers of Coke de Leon. And it's not gonna take too many. This is a speckled done here. Maybe six or eight fibers and probably a body length. Okay, I like that right there. Now either snip or just go ahead and loose wraps to bury these. We've got a fuzzy enough body, it doesn't really matter. Now for the wing case, just some pearl tinsel right here in a size large. I'm gonna catch this in, just go anywhere in the, the middle of the body. We'll do a couple wraps, loose wraps, just to make sure we're on top like we want. Okay, that's close enough. Now it's starting to spin on me, don't let that happen. Now let's catch in a rib, some gold UTC wire. And this is a, a medium. A brassy would be just fine right here. It's one size smaller. Let's catch this in right behind the weight. Now I'm gonna put some wax on my thread. And I just snipped a little bit off of this caddis green hairs mask right below the ear and above the eye socket. And I'm just gonna touch dub this on here. Kind of thick and not real tight as we can you know, make it tighter when we wrap this rib. So this is about a three inch noodle. I'm gonna just go ahead and wrap it. It's gonna be nice and buggy, but that's fine. We probably won't even have to trim it because we're gonna have, you know, we're gonna shape it with this rib. And I need just a little bit more here. Okay, that's a nice big buggy fly. Now let's just pull this wing case over and we'll catch it in with a, a couple of wraps. Don't even have to be tight yet. So while we'll only have two wraps, go ahead and check your position, make sure you are where you want. Now you can go ahead and put a tighter wrap down before you snip it off. Now I'm just gonna counter wrap this rib and put them as close together as you want, but again, we're kind of using this to make the body a little bit more durable and maybe even help shape some of this, you know, hair's mask here. Okay. 
Okay, after you got several wraps, just pull your thread tight and spin this off. And you might, be careful, you might have left a little nub there. If you do, just put some loose wraps of thread to kind of bury it. Now four or five turn whip finish and we should be about done. Now if you did want to put any head cement, just put a small drop right there. But I think one other option for this fly, I'm not even going to clean it up, I'm going to leave it fuzzy like that. One other option, if you wanted a, a hot spot, use a, a bright orange or red thread and then you'll make a little wider band right there and you've got a, an automatic hot spot. So that's it my friends, Jeffrey's Thrasher Fly. Pretty cool pattern, very simple to tie and he tells us this thing catches a lot of fish. So I appreciate you watching, y'all take care and we'll see you next time.